Today we'll be talking about how to route your phone's charging cable in your car behind the center stack for a clean look. I got some requests for this video after some of you saw how my cable was routed in my previous video on the illuminated shifter, which I'll link above. I'm doing this on a 2016 Volkswagen GTI. The process should be the same for all different models of the Mark 7 and Mark 7.5 Golf. My car has a storage tray with a USB port. The design of this tray doesn't allow for the door to be easily closed when your phone is plugged in, especially with phones getting bigger and bigger these days. Also, when your phone is not plugged in, you either have to leave the door open or shove the entire cable in, which could take up a lot of space in the storage tray. So we're gonna fix that. I'm using a standard iPhone Lightning to USB cable, which is the perfect length for this, about three feet long. You can go longer, but you don't wanna go any shorter. Since most Volkswagens from this generation have similar interiors, this process may or may not be similar for the other Volkswagen model. Regardless of which car you have, you can likely do something similar that's specific to how your car is laid out. Let's get to it. The first step is to open the storage tray and take anything you might have in there out of it. Next, we'll need to take off the trim around the climate controls. Close the storage tray door slightly and pull from the bottom corners of the climate control trim. It should snap right out. Put it off to the side and grip the sides of the storage tray and pull it towards you. You should feel it snap out and you can continue pulling it out the rest of the way, being mindful of the connection behind the USB port. Now we'll take our USB cable and slide the smaller end of it through the gap in the right side where the door meets the main body of the tray. Slide it all the way through and plug the cable into the USB port. Now we'll want to route the cable between the wires in the back and under the tray. Next, you want to reach in and feel for where the bottom of the plastic trim that hits your knee while driving meets the carpet. You should be able to pull back the trim just enough to fit your cable through and pull it out the other side. Pull it through most of the way for now. We'll get the right length later. Now we can put everything back together. For this step, you need to make sure the USB is out of the way and that you won't crush it behind the tray. I think this is the hardest step because you can't really see what you're doing. You need to get this piece that's shaped like a plus sign to snap into this hole back there. I found that the best way to do it is to reach your hand into the storage tray and push back and up before pushing it into place while it's still slightly outside the tray area. If it's aligned properly, it should just snap in without any effort. You'll know it's in when the bottom corners are flush with the trim next to it. Once it's in, Close the door, put the climate control trim panel back on, and snap the corners in. For a clean look, I added a couple of rubber cable organizer clips and stuck them to the trim. You can buy these at any office supply store. This gives me access to the button without cable getting in the way and also puts the cable within easy reach for when I have my phone mounted on the dashboard so I don't need to fumble around for the cable. In this position, you can't really move your phone around without unplugging it, but that's good because you shouldn't be using your phone while driving anyway. The only real downside is if your cable breaks or you get a new phone that uses a different cable, you'll have to go through this entire process again. An added benefit to having your phone up here instead of hidden away in the storage tray is that you can have it up as a secondary screen. And that's how you route the cable behind your center stack. Let me know in the comments if you've done anything similar to this with your car. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.